Morning guys, uh, today we're going to make a uh, quiche, okay, so bacon, onion, cheese, uh, we've got some cream and milk, eggs, and we've got short crust pastry from yesterday's recipe, okay, so you can find that on anywhere, so YouTube, Facebook, okay, that was what we made yesterday, uh, so hopefully we're going to make two quiches, okay, and first job obviously, bacon and onions are going to cook off, okay, and then we're going to blind bake our pastry, right. So first thing we're gonna sort out our pastry. Okay, so we're gonna unwrap it. Okay, so it's a short crust pastry. And we are gonna get two tarts out of this, okay? So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Okay, set one aside. And then we are going to roll it out, okay? So, a little bit of flour on the bottom, okay? A little bit on top of it sticks. And then as you roll, move it, yeah? Okay? So, every time you roll, quarter turn. Okay? Quarter turn. And then we can try and get it into a round shape, okay? So we need to have it this way. Keep an eye if it's getting a bit sticky, just give it a little bit of a, just a little sprinkling. Okay, not a lot. Make sure it's still unstuck on the bottom. Okay. So. That's about right. I'll find my tin. Okay, so this is my tin. Okay. So it's plenty big enough to couple of sides. We're going to blow and bake it. Okay, this is probably a uh, uh, eight inch tin, I'd say. Okay, so all we are going to do is I'm going to roll this up on the rolling pin. Put my tin underneath it. And I'm just going to roll straight back on top. Okay. So make sure it's even first and then just slowly bring it up and push it in to the sides using your thumbs, okay? Make sure it's right down the bottom, okay? Because if it's not down the bottom, when you go come and uh, blind bake, it's gonna shrink, okay? And you end up with like half a tin, which is not good. Okay, so we push it all in. Make sure it's all stuck to the sides. And there you go. There's your tart case, okay. We're now gonna get it ready for blind bacon. So I'm just gonna take the excess pastry off. Okay. Just with a knife, okay. Just make sure it overlaps a little bit so if it does shrink, okay. Again, you're not gonna be left with half a tart because we can always trim this when it's cooked, okay. And there we have, so our excess is all off, okay. We've got a little bit left, okay, but again, we're gonna, it's gonna shrink a little bit in the cooking process. And then what you need is a piece of grease roof paper, okay. We're gonna push that into the bottom, okay. Make sure it touches all the sides and all the bottom, okay. And then we're gonna fill that with some white, so some baking beans, I've got some beans mixed with some old rice. Okay, enough to hold the bottom down and hold the sides up. Okay. Okay. And that just needs to go in the fridge for 10 minutes to chill, to relax, so our pastry doesn't shrink so much. Okay. 
and I'm going to get on with the second one. And there are two tarts, okay? They're just going to rest in the fridge for 10 minutes and then we're going to bake them at gas mark 6 or 160 degrees for about 15 20 minutes, okay? Just to get them started off, okay? Fry up our bacon and, and onion, okay. So, frying pan, a little bit of oil, okay. Bacon both of them together. And we're going to fry these until the onion's a little bit soft, okay. So, five, ten minutes, they're okay? not very long. Now we're going to make our uh, filling, okay. So, we need our eggs. So, in a bowl, you're going to put your four eggs. your cream and your milk to them. All right. And then we need to whisk these up, okay? And then to these, we need to season these, so we need a little bit of pepper. You bake those mix, okay? So it's cooked, all right. There's a little bit of color, but not a lot. We don't need to fry it off, we need too much color. Okay, the onions are soft. All right, so the next job we need to let this cool down. Okay, so let it cool down a little bit. And what I've done over here, okay, the onions I'm making two quiches. I've weighed out the egg, cream, and milk mixture, separated it, and then separated the cheese. Okay, because I want two even tops, but it's up to you if you want to do it by eye. Okay, so I've added all the milk, cream, eggs, and and the cheese into there, okay? So we've got to wait for our filling to cool down and our tarts. We need tarts to blind bake, okay? We can get our mixture, okay? Pour them straight in. Get the second one. So I just divided up the bacon and the onion and the cheese and egg mixture as well. And then a little bit of cheese on top. And then now go back in the oven for about 30 minutes at 160 or gas box six. There's the quiches out the oven, okay. Now we just need to let them cool and then we can enjoy them. Okay. 